Hello, everybody. It's Tri Glide Ed here. Here with my good friend Harvey. That's my riding partner. You've seen him in several of my videos. What we want to talk about a little bit today is um, stock bars like mine right here. Then we're going to look at Harvey's right here. Harvey's has got the 12 inch riser handlebars. They're just Harley Davidson 12 inch bars. <laughs> Harvey, let me ask you a few questions here for, for the folks. A lot of people on Facebook, you, you're on some of those Harley pages and all this stuff also, always want to know about the handlebars. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, you know, um, should I get a 10-inch riser, 12-inch handlebars, 14-inch? Uh, mine are still stock. Uh, I, you've offered for me to ride your bike many times. I never have. One of these days I am, just ride up the road a little bit just to see the difference. But uh, you had yours is a 2016 Tri-Glide, correct? 15 Tri-Glide. Um, had stock bars on it, correct? Yes, sir. What made you decide to get those, or the pull, I call them pullback, 12 inch. What made you decide to, to get those bars? Well, riding mine with the stock bars on it, as I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm more at a lean forward position. True. I'm not resting, my back gives me a little problem. Yeah. And I got pressure yeah. on the palms of my hands right. on the inside. Yeah. Get a lot of numbness out of it. Yeah. It goes to sleep. Yeah. It hurts me bad. Got a little age on me. Yeah. And I found out while I'm riding, when I sit up straight against my backrest mm -hmm. and get my hands up off him handlebar, my hands feel better. Mm -hmm. So I went with these because that puts me up here. Mm -hmm. Gets my hands up here. I'm sitting up straight against my backrest. Right. I don't have the pressure on my palms because I'm not leaning forward. That's a good point. Let me ask you, when you put those bars on there, did you have to change any of your cables or anything like that? No. The, these bars are, are perfect for the cables that stock on your machine. Okay. They're actually a two-piece bar mm -hmm. that the cables come inside. It, they're easier to feed in that way. Uh, everything stays. All you got to do is just put the handle bars on there. Everything else works. I'm not going to ask you exactly how much, but I know Harvey had, had these bars put on at uh, Run-Up Valley Harley-Davidson over in Run-Up, Virginia. Uh, approximate cost labor bars and everything to put these bars on. This is in Run-Up, Virginia, mind you. The best I can remember turnkey on that was somewhere around five, six hundred dollars. Okay. A lot of money, but it's well worth it to me. You can do it yourself. But I wasn't comfortable enough to get in because I'm not sure how the cables were going to work. It works great. Yeah. Now, one thing, when you get, have them put them on, the, the tech puts them on according to him sitting there. Mm -hmm. Ride it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You might want to move them back. You Good might want to move them up. Yeah. Which is very simple to do. I moved mine back. You don't have to take none of the firing off to do that. This little cover right here, if you have to move those bars, anybody can do that. Well, how you do it? Well, you, you, this little cover right here, it has a screw mounted on each side of it. You take those two screws out, you can raise this little cover up, mm -hmm. and you can see your two bottom bolts on your handlebars. I mm -hmm. think there are 25 Torx head, I think is what's on. Mm -hmm. You can loosen just the bottom two. You don't have to worry about the top ones. Mm -hmm. And you get enough movement, you can get on your bike, pull your handlebars back where you want them. Mm -hmm. They won't drop on you because mm -hmm. they've still got some torque to them. Right. Once you get it where you think you want it, torque her back down, put your cover down, put these two screws back, and you're done. Okay. That's, that's about a 10-minute job. Okay. Now, one thing for y'all to know is, is Harvey's been in maintenance for a long time, and uh, he's, he's really very mechanical. Uh, he's, he's my go-to guy, and uh, a lot of work. Harvey's done a lot of stuff to his bike on his own. Um, but would you suggest anybody, say mediocre skills, mechanical skills, get somebody who knows what they're doing to put them bars on? I would suggest it simply because of the fact that it's a lot of work in it to put them in from the start. Mm -hmm. To install the bars, you do have to take the front fairing off mm -hmm. to get into everything. It's, mm -hmm. it's not that hard, but it's a lot easier if the tech drops my fairing for him to pay for it than for me to pay for it if I drop it in my building. True. Also, if you get a dealer, Harley dealer, to put your bars on, you got a warranty too. Is that correct? Yes, they, you got a warranty on everything you do. Everything they do for you is warranted. I can't remember the exact time frame sure. on everything, but they stand behind everything. If if I have a problem with it, 
I could go back and tell the tech over there, I need my hound water radar. No problem, we'll go right back here and do it. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of people they are. Yeah. yeah. They take care of it. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right, what I thought I'd do is uh, I'm going to get Harvey just to grab my bars. Wait a minute. Plus there's what? One other thing with them, you can uh, you can tell when, when you're riding here on these stock bars, mm -hmm. you can see a little bit of bend in my elbows. Mm -hmm. And when you're turning it, you're turning it more with your elbow mm -hmm. and your very shoulder mm -hmm. versus when you get up here, you got your whole shoulder and back into it. Mm -hmm. It makes the steering unbelievably easier. A lot easier? A lot easier. A whole lot easier. Is it saying the curves? Around here, as I've told folks before, we, uh, we live in curves. We live, we live in, in hills. We live in curves. Yep. A lot easier in these curves we got. A lot easier on on these. That there's no problem. I mean, there's nothing wrong with stock ball. Yeah. But it's just easier to sit here and bring your whole body than it is here because when you go into a curve with that right hand, again, you're pressing all the pressure right there on that wrist, turning at. Yeah. When I'm up here, I'm using my whole shoulder. Yep. I'm not getting the tension in my wrist yep. on my elbow. Okay. It makes a lot of difference. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to ask Harvey to uh, get him to move my bike up a little bit. And I'm going to go over here and let him uh, sit on his. And you can see his posture uh, on his compared to what I'm not doing runs that. quiet too, don't it, folks, for Harley Davidson. Well, you better stop before you hit my truck. <laughs> All right, folks, now you can see Harvey on his on his bike with the 12-inch uh, bars. And I'm going to stand out of the way. You can, uh, you know, see his posture. He is sitting more up straight. Uh, one of these days, uh, old Triglide Ed hopes to get one of them back rest, uh, which is a, a lifesaver, he tells me. I know it is. I had him on uh, my Electroglide and uh, my Heritage also. But uh, as you can see, Harvey is. He's more upright. He's not not hunched over as much. Uh, you can sit up better, and as he as he turns his handlebars a little bit, you can see that he's using his, mostly his upper body, not just his arms. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, he, he really he really enjoys them. I tell you that. I love them. I, I wish I'd had on him. I used to say when I was coming up, the these. Eight bars, everybody eight saying, and I said, there's no way on God's green earth I'd ever <laughs> want, want to ride one. Yeah. But I tell you what, them boys knows what they were doing. Yeah. We didn't. <laughs> they, they didn't have no stress. Yeah. I don't know how they done it. Yeah. But they didn't have any stress on their shoulders and elbows. That's why they rode so far. I believe. Yeah. You can, it's, it's comfortable. Yeah. And I, it does handle a lot better. A lot better. A lot better. All right, folks. As you can see, Harvey's well pleased with his bars and, um, Harvey used to babysit me when I was little, and uh, that was last week <laughs> <laughs> we finally got enough money to get him out of the home. Now I'm uh, I'm several years older than Harvey, and me and Harvey we said what back in 1982, 82. that and we were, we was working at the same place. Um, it was a wood products manufacturer here in uh, Frank County, Virginia, and um, back in '82 we talking and said, you know, someday we're gonna get us a Harley Davidson. We're going to ride. And uh, we've been riding now since, what, 2014 or 15? 2015. 2015. Uh, Harvey, as a crow flies from here, probably lives a mile as a crow flies. But, uh, yeah, he's my good friend. You know, we all have friends. But when you got that good friend, you got something special. And he's a good friend. This is my brother from another mother. There you go. There you go. I want to thank all of you. I hope this helped you some. I want to throw a few still photos in here of Harvey sitting uh, sitting on mine with the uh, uh, stock bars, and, and I'll do a few with uh, Harvey sitting on his. So you can get a, a, a decent look at, at these bars. Like I say, you see so much of it on Facebook. People always want to know about bars. Uh, is it worth it? Should I do this? How does it handle well, now you have somebody that's got some 12-inch bars. I've got stock. And uh, now I tell you, my stock bars, I don't mind them so far. Uh, I haven't done a, um, a long trip with them, mind you. But um, one of these days, me and Harvey here, we're going to ride. Uh, you're not going to mind them at all. They're fine, the stock bars. And you're not going to mind them at all until after you get these. Yeah.
Mm. Cable in, but that's I two A. Right. I start to say good morning, everybody, but it ain't morning around here. Well, they don't know they where we're at. They don't even got a clue. Uh -uh. That's we good. don't know where we're at. Not, not. Well, that's a good point there. <coughs> Why you went to those twelve inch bars? Uh -huh. How it rides compared to stock? Cause you had stock. Mm -hmm. that, I do. Yeah, you did. Uh, what was we gonna talk about just now? You just gonna talk about handlebars? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's a good point, there. <laughs> that's a valid point. <laughs> at least I can, I can edit this thing. Again. I've been at that time that wacky the back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank y'all for watching this. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I had fun making it. So y'all take care. Remember now, have fun and ride safe. Take care all.